Five ways to Friday. One item styled five different ways. Hello and welcome to my channel. Age is just a number and my name is Barbara Jean. This is a channel for women over 40, over 50, over 60, over 70 and beyond who have a love of fashion and beauty but there are no age barriers here and there is no frumpy here. I promise you no frumpy. So what are we going to do today? We're going to talk about one item that I have taken and I'm going to style it five different ways. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Hit the uh, that little red subscribe button, ring the little bell next to it, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment and become part of my little uh, age is just a number family here. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for returning and being so loyal to me. It means everything to me. So for those of you who don't know me, I am a personal stylist and I specialize in fashion for the mature woman. And yes, I am 63 and I have had a love of fashion since I was a very, very little girl. So this is something that uh, this little Friday series is something I look forward to every week to where I can show you inspiration from my closet to your closet because I have not purchased anything new for this video. All of these items were in my closet. So what are we being? We're being sustainable. That means that we're not going out and buying fast fashion. We are already using what we have in our closet. So now, if there are any things that I can find a link to, I will put it down below, but some of these things I've had for quite a while. So, um, yes, yeah, so a lot of these won't be in there, but it's just giving you inspiration of how you can take these items and make it your own. I believe every day that you should get up and show up, ladies, and so that is what we're going to be doing here today. And so the topic of today is a pair of white jeans for winter. Yes, these are strictly styled for winter. And the ones that I've had, I've had these at least three years, at least. <laughs> and these are actually by Michael Kors and they are a skinny jean, an ankle skinny jean. Now for me, and they're calling it the cropped. Well, it's not that much cropped because I am only five foot two. So cropped is not one thing for one person and means that it's for everybody. I mean, it just depends on your the length of your legs. So this is cropped, but on me, it's just an ankle length. So you're going to say, well, Barbara, they say that skinny jeans are out of style. Well, I'm not saying that. They are not on trend but they really don't go out of style. And I'm gonna show you some very, very classic looks of how you can still be modern and current, but still wear your skinny jeans and specifically white skinny jeans. And to keep this as simple as possible, I have pulled a neutral palette that I absolutely love. So I have some classic pieces and a little edgy outfit too. So I'm going to do casual. I'm going to take it up a notch and I'm going to do a little bit of edgy because you know your girl loves a little bit of edgy too. So what are we going to do here to style the white jeans? Well, I'm going to show you what we're going to style them with. First off, I haven't used a whole lot of jewelry. I typically wear my gold hoops. I've had these for years. Um, and then this is a necklace that I had purchased on Amazon uh, back this fall, and it is the perfect length for a rounded collar. I 
I didn't tap on that. So now I know I can put the link of this one down below too. But um, so something, what I'm going to show you something important about this in just a second. So what I've started out with, I have two cashmere sweaters. One is this beautiful light tan color, almost what's considered a nude. And then another one, same style, but it is animal print. So you're going to see lots of animal print with this because our, as you can see, the theme here is tans and black. So for neutral looks, but they look fabulous. I mean fabulous with white. So, but here's what I want to show you. I'm going to put one of them back here. This, whenever, for a classic look, you always want to have your necklace the shape of it mimic the shape of your top. So if it was a v-neck, you would want one that's more down. But because this is round, this is going to lay just perfectly. And you'll see in the pictures how this does. Now, I'm very careful when I wear my cashmere sweaters um, because I don't want to mess the nap up on the sweaters. So this will actually only come right to the edge. And so I will wear it, and it also depends on what I'm doing for the day too. If, it, if it's something that I'm gonna be wearing this for more than just a couple hours, I would probably put on a pair of pearls instead that won't mess this up. But I would never wear a chain down here, number one, because of the style of it, but number two, to mess up, the, mess up my sweater. So. I just wanted to share that with you. So we're going to set this away. So those are the two sweaters that I have chosen. Here is another sweater that I have, and you probably have seen this before. This is by Pink Rose. Um, I think I got this in the fall at uh, TJ Maxx, and it's got those kind of uh, little puffy sleeves out here, not up here, but just here. So it's got the dropped shoulder, and it's that kind of a velour, but the color is just, this camel color is just so rich. And mixed with that white, it just stands out and it's just lovely. And of course, it is one of my colors. So black is kind of harsh on me, but it's not one of my colors. But when I mix it with other colors, it works. So this, because of this, I wouldn't actually wear anything. I don't think I think I just had my earrings on. So I just kept it very, very simple. So this is a beautiful sweater. Next is this is by Athletia. And this is actually, I don't know if you can know you uh, it's black, you're not gonna be able to see, but this is actually a it's a very heavy sweatshirt. And it is a rolled collar. It's not tight at all, but it's not your typical sweatshirt. This is just styled differently. It's got the sweatshirt arms, but not the collar and not the hem. It's got a split hem on the side. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you'll see it in the outfit when I try it on. But this just kind of looks, it's just a little bit different style, but it's still a sweatshirt it'll still keep you warm in the winter and styled with some casual shoes as well too so there's that one all right this is and I got this this fall as well too from TJ Maxx I do believe this is by Tahari and is it by Tahari Yes, it is by to heart. It is a faux leather blazer, which is still very popular this season. So it's just a single button, which is the classic cut, but it's beautiful and it looks great with the white. I mean, you cannot beat black and white either. So, all right, I brought out my camel colored coat and a camel black and white scarf here you'll see this it's just a full length it is um trying to think it goes down to midi on me not maxi just a midi but it's just a classic classic very classic and a coat like this will stay 
should stay in your closet for years because it is just a, um, a, a staple. It's a classic. So with the scarf, I thought the colors were absolutely gorgeous. So there's that. And then of course, one of my tried and true favorites is my black leather jacket that I've had for years. This is by Bernardo. The thing that I love about this the most is not only the feel and the quality of the leather, but that it's a petite. So the sleeves fit me at the perfect length and the bottom of it fits me at the perfect length as well too. So it's just a classic and will be for years. So investing in a very a nice moto jacket is always something that you want to consider. So that's it for the clothing, the clothing items, but the accessories, let's go over those really quick. I have chosen some purses. I have two black purses. One of them is my little vintage Dauphin purse. I just absolutely, this little classic purse, I just absolutely love it. And then I have a Kate Spade clutch in black leather and I just love this little thing. I mean, it's big enough to put your phone and lipstick and your car keys in. So it's a perfect size for a clutch. Next, I have, I got this back in, I think in November. I got it off of Amazon and I absolutely love it. It's that cloud bag that uh, resembles or um, is the, what is it, inspired by um, Bottega Veneta. And it is this beautiful, soft, muted gold metallic. And it does have its chain in here. Um, I got this off of Amazon. I know I can put the link down here below for this. It is a heavy chain. So, and the, you can bring them. Actually, it had another, uh, ch another strap on it. And I put this one on it. No, it didn't. I'm sorry. I'm getting my purses confused. I put that on a different purse. <laughs> this one came with this, but you can remove this because it's got the little rings that you can just snap or, you know, squeeze and it'll come off. So this is a beautiful clutch that you can dress up or dress down. And I love doing that. All right. And then this is a little camel color faux leather handbag that I got at uh, TJ Maxx this fall as well too in the beautiful camel color which will go with so many things and it is it's very lightweight really it does have its strap which I've never used a strap I just keep it in here because uh, I just per I just love the little handle so um, I like doing that you could use it as a crossbody too and you can these are this is removable as well so that you, if you want to do the crossbody, take the handle off, it has a totally different look. So that's a great option. So we're now down to the shoes. You know, I love my shoes. All right, what do we got first? First we have, you've seen, these are my Vince Camuto uh, animal, uh, animal print calf hair booties. They have a three inch heel zipper on the side here, a pointy toe which is very much in style, and it just elongates when you wear a pointy toe. Remember that. Um, I have my favorite nude pump, which I've had for several years, and these are by, um, it's Enzo Angelini. Beautiful little two and a half inch heel and a pointed toe. And a tip. Let me give you a real quick tip here too. On nude, try and go to match the color of your skin when choosing a nude. Because one color nude on one person is not going to be the same color nude on a different person. All right. My little Cole Haan. Here we go. Animal print again, but the little slide. And these are a pointy toe as well. So, and just a little bitty heel, but it's a casual look, but takes it up a notch. All right. INC, you know, I have a whole collection of INC shoes, and I have my eye on another pair on Poshmark. Hmm. Do I dare? <laughs> but this is INC. This is calf hair again in animal print, pointy toe, and about a three inch, three inch heel. 
then because I can't do a little edgy look properly without my beloved Fry combat boots. I'm just still in love, so in love with these. And I love the look when I do take it up a notch. Because you know, I've, I've said it many, many times over the last um, two years. My style is classic, but with edge. So yes, so, and I'm even thinking, considering because they, I've been seeing a lot in maybe like a, uh, a cream color. So uh, I haven't seen Fry's in a cream color, but I've seen some other brands. So I'm just keep looking and looking, trying to see if I want to pull the trigger on those or not. So these are the combat boots that we're going to do. So do you want to see how I put all these together for one pair of pants to get five different looks? But first, before we go there, let me ask you a question. As usual, I could have kept going, but I picked just one color palette with this. Do you want to see, I keep hitting that microphone, I'm sorry. Do you want to see in another video, maybe the next video or something, the white jeans? After, after, let me know after you watch the lookbook. Would you like to see more options of the white jeans in other colors with, I mean, keeping the white jeans, but adding some other colors, doing another color palette. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something that you would be interested in seeing. So without further ado, let's get on to the lookbook. That was the lookbook. I would love to hear your thoughts. And did you have a favorite outfit? Um, and what do you think about the skinny jeans? Um, I think they're just going to stay around. I mean, I just don't, I can't say that they're out of style. There are other styles of jeans that are trending more, but there are some that you can't, now, I don't know per se that I would put these white jeans on with boots as often. I might put them with a camel pair of boot, knee boots that I'm talking about. Um, but if you're dressing jeans, regular denim jeans with um, knee high boots, they've got to be able to go down in them. So I can't see how you would do that with the flare or the straight leg because they're going to balloon up a little bit. And that's, I, that's not a look that I like. So 
and I'm very particular even where, when I'm wearing them with booties. I want the proper length for me. And for me, my personal choice is to only show a little sliver of skin, just a little bit, um, when I'm wearing booties with jeans. And you'll see the booties in here um, on the, um, I think it was the combat boots because they are a higher up. I did have to cuff up the uh, the jean just a little bit so all right ladies i still i want to hear your comments so um leave them down below i had so much fun doing this but i'm going to get out of here now because you got stuff to do and i got stuff to do so what do i tell you ladies i tell you every single day every single day get up and show up because you are worth it so until i see you in my next video have a very safe and a very blessed day